When I first began to realize that you know maybe I could do something with this art and maybe I really had a voice and maybe I could really grow this into something that you know I could see myself doing for the rest of my life, uh, I did a lot of 2D work that was um, map pattern based and I got to the point where it just wasn't exciting for me anymore. I really wanted to start to, to push it. I wanted to see what I could do. You know, I've always had a love for spirit animals and totems, so why not turn these things that are already basically mapped out for 3D products into these 3D products? And it's been fun to see them evolve from this flat surface to what now is something that has a personality and it's a little different take on, you know, taxidermy having something hang on your wall and looking back at you. Normally when I start off a new project, I just start with a simple sketch. Just a simple line drawing, uh, you know, pencil, paper. This kind of gives me an idea of how I want things to break down. It gives me an idea of where things can build up and then be recessed. What it really is for me is a starting point. And from that, I really get a feel of how everything's going to look and the finished piece itself is going to feel. After I finalize the sketch and get it to where I want it to be, and I feel happy with it, um, I'll take it upstairs, I'll scan it in, and then I'll blow it up to the size I want. I'll bring it back downstairs, do a little cut on them, and then tape them together. And then that really is the basis of where I start. Luckily, my lovely wife had the great idea of doing this leafy sea dragon, which really spoke to me. I really thought that I could really play with it, really build it up, really showcase what I've been trying to do lately. So what I really try to do with the foundation is make something that's going to really help me build up and build out. But I want something that's sturdy and that has um, some, some substance that I can put these other pieces on so they're going to be able to be sturdy. Um, this process usually involves you know, new wood, um, three quarters inch thick, and I usually end up on the scroll saw or the band saw cutting most of that out. This really for me is where I start to put the personal feel into it. You know, I grew up um, downstairs in the basement next to my dad's workshop. You know, the smell of sawdust was always in the air. It really feels like home to me. It reminds me of my childhood. You know, the constant um, hum of the scroll saw or the band saw really does make you kind of wash out. And as you're kind of moving along and following this path, um, and it's kind of childish as it sounds, I, it's almost like driving a car on like a really windy road. So you're kind of zoned out and you just really get into it because I know later on there's going to be all this chaos. There's all these pieces that I've had cut out and it's going to be a little hectic, but right now it's just building that foundation and really starting to get that mode, that feeling, that, that form in there and it's a really calming process. So I have my base and now I want to build on top of that. So I go back to that cut guide that I originally had in the beginning and I really start hacking away, chopping it up and pulling out those little pieces that I did the line work in. So after I do that process, then it's really kind of deciding on do I want this to be new wood because it'll be paint later or maps later or do I want to do reclaimed wood? Is this a part where texture will work very well? That gives it a personality. Now I need to give it some, some attitude, some, a mood. So I really um, kind of pick my color scheme accordingly. Um, with the Leafy Sea Dragon, I wanted something that was going to read underwater. I was going to, something aquamarine with a little bit of brown leafiness in there. Um, so what I use is um, aerosol spray paint and then acrylic. Uh, the reason I use spray paint is it really gives it a soft textured look and it's easy to paint on top of. And I really just like the fact that I can go and grab a can of the color I want, be done and keep moving on. Um, as far as the other paint, I just use acrylic and it really helps frame each piece. So this is when I turn the music off, this is when I get real quiet, and then I get the paint out and I start, you know, lining everything. And my goal is to frame each piece in a way where it's an individual canvas. So the piece as a whole is 70-something canvases put together. So while I'm doing the line work, you know, I'm kind of thinking about my past, my future, my wife, my kids, you know, what I need to make for dinner, so, you know, so all that stuff is going through me into the piece. I think me thinking about my personal issues, my, my problems, my hopes, my dreams, my aspirations is somehow seeping into that line work and that wood and then transferring into the viewer. Now it's time for construction. And this for me is the most vulnerable part. 
you've worked so hard, you've spent all this time making all these individual pieces perfect, and then you have to hope that they go together. And as I've learned, best laid plans go out the window really quick in this scenario, and you hope for the best. Hopefully, at this point, I have measured properly, I've cut everything, and sometimes you do have that random piece, you know, like when you get your Ikea furniture and you put it together, and you have that one last piece that you have left over, and you're like, I don't know where this goes. So, like I said, nothing ever works to plan, but you kind of roll with it, and then at the end of the day, it is what it is. Mistakes happen, and they also become part of the piece. So everything's constructed, protected, and still missing something. So this is when I go for the eyeballs. I have a little cachet, a little tin that I open, and I find the perfect piece. And when I put that in, it's staring back at you. You feel its soul, you feel like it's finally complete. And then you step back, you take a look at it, and you see what you started with, with that simple line drawing. It's an amazing feeling when it comes out the way you want it. And that's something that is very true and dear to me. And it's very hard to say goodbye. Every piece I do, I fall in love with. Every piece I give away, I hate seeing go. But I know that it's making somebody else just as happy as it made me. And that's a very good feeling.